Our title today is Ions. If an atom is electrically neutral, its numbers of protons are equal to its numbers of electrons. Um, and the electric charges are balanced. If we take a neutral atom, all right, so let's do something really easy. For instance, lithium. Lithium is atomic number three. So if it's atomic number three, that means it has three protons. So one, two, three. So it has three positive charges, and if it's electrically neutral, that means that it has uh, three electrons, negative, 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 and so that means that for every positive, there's a negative to balance it, and so we have zero overall charge. But... Atoms can, and they often do, lose or gain electrons. Never protons or neutrons, electrons. And this happens because the atom is seeking stability. And for an atom, eight electrons in the valence, or outermost electron shell, is stable. electrons, non-metals tend to gain electrons. We don't know why this is the case yet. I mean, you don't know why this is the case. You will know later on in the year. But when metals become ions, they lose electrons. And when non-metals become ions, they gain electrons. When atoms lose or gain electrons, they become electrically unbalanced. The number of protons no longer equals the number of electrons, and thus they develop an overall charge. And we call these charged atoms, we call them ions. that have lost electrons now have a positive charge and we refer to them as cations. So um, let's do something really simple. Let's do lithium again. So lithium Li protons and three electrons. When lithium becomes an ion, it's metal, and so what it will do is it will lose its single valence electron. And so what that leaves us with then is we've got these two that cancel, these two that cancel, but we end up having this overall positive one charge. So this is a lithium ion, Li plus. Okay, and it's become an ion because it has lost one of its valence, well, its only valence electron, and so it now has an overall positive charge. Lithium is a cation. Atoms that have gained electrons, they have a negative charge, and they are known as anions. 
Let's do a simple one. Let's do nitrogen. So, nitrogen. is a non-metal, and nitrogen is atomic number seven. So that means that it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven protons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven electrons. But when nitrogen becomes an ion, it actually gains three electrons. One, two, three electrons in its valence shell. All of these are going to cancel, right? But we've got these three extra electrons, which then gives nitrogen a negative three charge. It's an anion. It's an anion, it's got a negative charge, and it's a nonmetal, so it's gained electrons. Last but not least, polyatomic ions. And you're familiar with those. We have been trying to memorize them in class. Polyatomic ions are groups of atoms that behave as a single atom. So for instance, hydroxide. Hydroxide is polyatomic ion. It's made up of more than one atom. And it's not just simply the atom has lost or gained electrons. It's a little more complex. And we'll talk about it later in the year. But polyatomic, many atoms. And they behave actually like a single atom. That's all for today.